Costa Rica that's always in it. You know what I mean? Like, I love seeing that. It's just, I don't know, man. I, I would like to see some of these other regions get better, but then it's like, like, I, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, everything's so complicated, isn't it? You know, like Connor said it, the oil money. And it's like, you kind of feel shitty about Saudi Arabia. Like, yeah, I want to see them win really. But it's like, but I do want to see more, more diverse places and people in the game. Mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. just, but then again, glass house and shit. Cause like, like over the, over Thanksgiving, I'm talking to a family member and he's like, oh man, I can't believe they gave Qatar the world cup. Isn't there a lot of messed up things going on? and their stance on uh, LGBTQ and stuff. And I was like, yeah, but you got to look at the next place holding the World Cup just stripped a bunch of rights away from women. And he was like, where's that? And I was like, America. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, yeah. It, it's just complicated because there's Here's Morgan shit pointed everywhere. that out too. You know, the thing I pointed out, I talked about with you guys last time. I, I mean, he said, you know, one in four nations at this World Cup has laws against homosexuality. And then the next station has laws against, has, has just made laws restricting women's freedom. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just wild when we really, we, it's hard for us to like lo lo love these cultural bombs because we're all different. But at the same time, there are certain things that we're all, all of the rest of us are like, like gay rights and we all look at each other like, come on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's I don't know. Like I said, it's so complicated because I mean, right. You know, I think I said this before, but it's just like if you look at what we consider representation of people, you know, we'll look at <clears throat> we'll look at Iran and say, oh, look at that. Look at their president, the Holocaust denier and the X and the Y. And this guy's an asshole, the Iranian, blah, blah, blah. So then we start talking shit about Iranian people when it's like, well, I don't care if you take the good or the bad example. If you take Obama or Trump, neither one of them represented me as an individual. So like why is it so far-fetched to feel like these people in these other places aren't like that as well? That these people do not really represent them, you know? So it's just like, it, it is hard, man. It's just, I, and I don't know what the answer is. You know, like the guy Infantino is an idiot and I think he's a, and I think he has dumb ideas, but he almost opened the door for North Korea to get the tournament just to, because his idea is that you just give it to places to try and open them up more. Well, it's like in, Gary Neville I, said it. I, I liked what Gary Neville had to say about it. Uh, he, he says, like, it, 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 I appreciated what he had to say because he's like, he's done. He's had business dealings with Qatar, with the Middle East for almost uh, two decades now. It's it's just it's been a, it's become a part of football. Uh, that was the one thing. However, despite that growing relationship, he's not been afraid to talk about the things that he sees that need changing and he's not afraid to have those well, i liked his perspective that he was like he was saying he was willing to have these conversations despite willing to, to break bread with these people have and have and do business with these people he's like he, he brought up this, these points that you know wh where else could we, we we had to start somewhere i we imagine and, and, and right it, it could have been anywhere in in the middle east it, it it's had to be somewhere and no matter where it was, it was going to be rife with these types of problems. We were going to be talking about these types of things. But the fact that they are able to continue the tournament and have these types of conversations, despite the issues, I mean, there are problems there, admittedly. But this has, as he's brought up, it's it's shown them over there a new light. Like everybody over there is also witnessing change and a new thing inside of their face for the first time and they're having to deal with the stuff that we all think is normal and they don't think is normal and they're all dealing with it and processing it and it's been a weird inter exchange and he said it's been that way since day one with with the dealing with the middle east it, 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 he it, for him and despite that he doesn't want to shy away from the human rights issues from the abuses from the stuff that needs to be talked about and that he does think needs to be proved but so he does feel more comfortable in going there and doing business with these guys he's like that's part of the process of all of this in his head and that's why he's not afraid to have those types of conversations i appreciated his perspective relaying that yeah, I I didn't see that. That's pretty interesting. Like it, it's it, it's a com. It's like you said, it's a conversation. It's just complex. what sucks is there's it's a complex. lot of things. It is complex. I I think 
I mean, I, I, I mean, whatever. I don't want to break it down too simply, but I just think religion is the problem, man. Like everybody's got some imaginary friend that's got a problem with what other people are doing. And honestly, I've always had the 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 stance of as long as whatever you are doing is not affecting another human being, then what the hell? Who cares? And, you know. And we'll now think about like, this right now. The, the in Qatar. They're doing this tournament and there are people praying to multiple gods. And and in this Middle Eastern nation, they had to be okay with it in a way that they probably have never had to be okay with it ever before because pretty much everybody over there is Islamic for the most part of some type, right? Uh, there's various types. And uh, these, all of a sudden they got Christians, Jewish people, uh, Hindus, every uh, all sorts of different Zoroastrians, I don't know, just all, all sorts of different types. Uh, Rastafarians that are coming in and they're sharing ground and they're learning new things about about themselves, these Qatari people, I'm sure as well. And so hopefully it's as that they're able to instill change, inst um, inspire change, inspire progress, because that's that's what it, it was kind of that's what he was kind of alluding to, uh, at least was that like, you know, like, yeah, it, we don't we don't have to we shouldn't worry about them changing us with what we perceive as their negative um baggage they have positive things to bring to the table and eventually we also think that they will see what positive things we bring to the table and maybe they're able to shed that negative baggage that we see from after 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 this at some point or at least deal with it better or and deal with the western world better I mean, I I hope so. I really right. I I look for, I hope for evolution. You know, that it, it does it does yes. get sticky when certain things are, you know, like so like religion cool wrong. You know what I mean? Well, that too. But like just religions, when it's just like oil, money, though these things when those things creep in, it it does. Yeah, muddy it, up ma the it makes things a lot. Yeah, it muddies up everything. It just oh, it's just so hard to just I, I you just want people to just be able to live you know and i don't i don't care we if want we we're american we like freedom we're like hey if they're gonna be if we're down there spreading freedom like this whole week with iran where uh, usa bungled uh the way they put the flag out uh for iran they bungled it they just simply they did things that they shouldn't have done and then eventually they there was also crazy questions that conversations had uh, asked, so that was interesting uh, between with uh, between Tyler Adams and the coach and these journalists. So th there was a whole whole thing at play, and at the same time, the game itself. I felt these players truly respect each other. I thought we were going to see yellow card, red card, fest. There, like there was going to be uh, that type of battle. It was not that type of battle. It was a soccer, true soccer tactical battle. And Iran brought the noise. They almost scored. Oh, fellas, with that being said, I'm having trouble staying awake, and it's 10 till midnight, so I'm going to All right, bounce. brother. Good luck. We will see you later. Let's stop right. Connor. Connor, it was, good, it was good to talk to you, my man. And uh, I'm going to log off as well. I'm going to take that opportunity to get out of here as well. You, All right, brothers. Uh, any final out. thoughts? <laughs> I got nothing. I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. We'll get some sleep, kid. All right. But uh, James, I, I I love this. I love that we can have a very strong conversation about this because I think it's very possible to enjoy the an hour and a half of a soccer game and then take the other twenty two and a half hours and care about the things that really matter. So I think so too. I think it's possible. It's it's a beautiful thing, man, talking through everything. So you you have a good night. You take care of yourself. Absolutely, you, Tokyo. You have a fantastic night. Thank you for stopping by twice. And they and say thank you to your sister from another mother for stopping by. I appreciate that. That was fun. All right, everybody. Guys, spit and fire. What crazy fun conversations we have here, Angus. Chat. Everybody stopping by Axe. Connor creeping up in the chat saying hey, what's up let's go and then show and let's go everybody lurking 
all you guys just hanging out. Really appreciate you guys hanging out, watching a little spin of fire, talking a little soccer, getting enjoying this World Cup, processing this thing we call life. <laughs> Having a blast while we do it. All right, everybody. Cheers. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Have a wonderful World Cup. Uh, we, I don't know if we'll be live for the World Cup. I don't think so. I don't per anticipate, but how we will be watching and enjoying. Very excited. Cannot wait. Of course, let's, let's just double check. And double check when they play and, and renounce Saturday. Don't worry. You'll be off work. Typically Saturday, 9 a.m. Set your alarm clocks now. Saturday, 9 a.m. Netherlands takes on USA the round of 16 i cannot wait who do you guys think is going to be the striker for usa well is it gonna be josh Sargent back in is gio reyna gonna make an appearance i don't know and you're saying that allen Fieldhouse is really loud out in uh, kansas right uh, i remember angus you saying that you were, uh, used to live out there never went to college there but damn that allen Fieldhouse is loud and you say that if Saudi gets the 2030 World Cup, I just don't see much change there. Change is very slow, except for token issues and for image purposes. Change can be slow, change can be fast, but change is gradual typically, right? It's more gradual. And maybe you need a little bit more time to pass by. Maybe it's time to go back to Europe. If you go to Poland, if you go to uh, Turkey, maybe go to Italy, maybe Greece, maybe Portugal, Spain, that'd be fun. Any one of those nations. Ukraine, uh, he's probably not going there, right? Probably not having a World Cup there for a while. And Oh, that makes me realize that maybe we ain't having a World Cup in Europe for a, a few, a, a little bit too. People are playing soccer though. Oh. World's a crazy place right now. Yeah, we're playing a World Cup. Kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Yeah. Been real. Been fantastic. A crazy amazing conversation <laughs> I, never, I always have a little script written up you know a little plan the general plan is i love love what we do here all right everybody have a great wonderful rest of the week i'll catch you on the next one kick that like button thanks for hanging out for spinning fire appreciate you guys let's go catch you guys next week live on Wednesday, as per usual, live every Wednesday. Hit that bell icon if you're not used to it. That way you get notified of our uh, live shows. Whether or not it is live Wednesdays, uh, we do additional shows every once in a while, too, if, uh, if, if it's allowed. I mean, this this uh, this Saturday, maybe a little surprise uh, spin fire stream. I don't know. I don't know if I have the ability yet or not to. Uh, we'll see. USN national team. Taking on the Dutch, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Very excited. All right, guys, check it out. We'll see you guys later. And of course, go, you could watch it. Uh, check it out on Sons of Pitch Soccer Central. That's where I've been watching a lot of the World Cup. Make sure you guys are subscribed to them. Great friend of the show. Appreciate Toke stopping by. Great friend of the show. Check out his channel. Listen to the Friends of the Show channels as well. Same thing with Connor. Appreciate them stopping by. And DPG. Always a blast, everybody. I'll catch you guys next time. Angus saying, have a great one. Angus, always appreciate you, man, stopping by. Thank you, man. Let's freaking go. Let's go, Angus. Chat, I love it. Greatly appreciate it. Let's go. Share, love sharing the love sharing the ride. Love sharing the joy with you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bubs, let's go. We're in the World Cup. We're still here. We're still here. Round of 16. Bring it, Dutch. Pass the Dutch to your left. Ha ha. Pass the Dutch to your left. Ha ha. Pass the Dutch to your left. Where is it? Pass the Dutch upon the left hand side. Ah, let's go. All right, everybody. Have a great one. Let's go, USA. USA.
USA, USA, USA. Let's do it, everybody. We could stun the world. Do you imagine beating the Dutch? Possible. I think there's a one in four chance they could pull it off. Beat the Dutch. Go on, take a stumbling Argentina. Beat Argentina. And all of a sudden, we're in new territory. People are looking at us like, uh, 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 Good luck to everybody. Going to have a great week. Set the tone. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. We're almost there. Saturday, 9 a.m. World Cup en route. Holiday season is upon us. Get your holiday shopping done ASAP. It's, of course, going to be December before you know it. I think on Thursday. So. Wa-ba-ba-ba-ba-da-ba-boo. To the fruit eh? Oh, Rudy. Get it done. And have a blast. Angus is for the best crest in the world. I know it, we've also said it needs work. It's right now the best crest in the world. <laughs> Let's go. And the World Cup icon. I love it, Angus. Uh, should I add um, an? Uh, should I add a uh, a Dutch icon for the next game? Oh, if I stream, if should I stream live on Saturday? I don't know. Don't, I, I guess don't. Don't. I'm 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 fifty fifty if I'm able to stream on Saturday. And of course, I'll put out the alert up here. It'll, it'll, it'll send it out. But um, maybe I'll have to just hop on for the second half and just live react. That's what I think. I'll, I might not just catch. I might not be able to start off. I have just errands and stuff. I got to run. Um, but boom. But you know, I'll be live. Uh, but beyond that, Saturday, 9 a.m. I gotta be on. I think I gotta be on here. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're getting jazzed up. We're in the World Cup. I can't believe it. We're not supposed to be here. Wales is supposed to be here. It's supposed to be England and Wales going through. Instead, it's USA and England. Uh, it, Iran actually had put up a surprise, surprise uh, tournament, too. I think that very respectable tournament. Wales going to be asking a lot of questions. They're going to be looking in the mirror like, what happened? How did USA basically beat us? How did Iran beat us? And what were we doing? Chat, Angus, everybody, really appreciate you guys hanging out, watching a little spit of fire. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sorry for the longest outro. Just love talking with you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great one. See you guys later. And uh, have a great, have a good night and a great week. Let's go and dominate. USA, 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 USA.